What's going on? It's John Fitch here. Uh, I want to uh, do a little video. There's a lot going on with the industry of mixed martial arts right now. And I want to do some educational videos to help people kind of understand the basics of what we're trying to do and how we're trying to change the sport for the better for everybody. The way that the industry is formed right now um, would, would be uh, termed uh, in the legal sense as anti-competitive. And that's why we are going uh, into a class action lawsuit with, with the UFC. Um, their practices and the practices structurally throughout the entire industry are anti-competitive and I want to talk to you a little bit about that so you can help understand it better. <laughs> this formula is something that I came up with to help better break down and help people understand um, whether or not something is, is competitive in nature, legally competitive in nature, um, or anti-competitive. Uh, if they do not fit this basic structure, it is anti-competitive and is illegal. Um, it's, be it's illegal because it is um, ha riddled with conflicts of interest, and when there's conflicts of interest, there is almost always corruption, right? The base root of our sport is corrupt, and it needs to change. Okay, this is how the basic formula works, right? There's two equations in this formula. Uh, the first one is uh, the promoter, um, which is the owner or the, uh, the event, person holding the event. If the promoter owns the title or the award, right, the promoter is giving out the, the title or the award, then that promoter cannot, cannot have exclusive contracts with its competitors, right? That, that's tennis, golf, uh, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tournament, those are all the same things. The second equation is the promoter has the promoter plus exclusive contracts. If the promoter owns the exclusive contracts, then they may not also control the titles or the awards. It's, it's not competitive. Um, and it's ruled not competitive by the courts. Uh, the sanctioning body then, they have to have a sanctioning body step in and take control of the title or the awards, right? So think boxing, NFL, right? <clears throat> also college sports. If the promoter has exclusive contracts, he's not allowed to also own the contract or the title that is non-competitive, that's anti-competitive, and it is illegal. So once again, if the promoter owns exclusive contract rights, he cannot also control the title or the award. The courts have already ruled that that's anti-competitive and it's illegal. And this is why MMA is so screwed up right now, because it's heavily in the favor of the promoter, the promoters. It's an, it's an anti-competitive anti setup. Um, you have the promoter with exclusive contract rights and they own the title. Um, that's heavily in the promoter's favor. It's anti-competitive. Um, that's one of the reasons why we have taken the UFC to court over a class action lawsuit for anti-competitive actions. That's also why we need the Muhammad Ali Extension Act added to mixed martial arts. These things will give us a legal backbone to separate those powers and, and, and give uh, um, athletes in this sport a fair shake at making real money and having real benefits. Um, if we do not change the structure of this sport, nothing else matters. No, no pensions, no health care, no tweaks of the percentages. That will not change uh, our situation. Some may benefit a small amount, but the whole industry will not benefit. The only way we can all benefit is if we change the structure. We have to separate the titles away from the organizations. It's the only way to do it. Or we have to eliminate the exclusive contracts. Otherwise, it's an anti-competitive market and it is illegal.